So Chinese AI has officially taken over 2025 completely. First Deepseek R1, Quant 2.5 BL and now Omni Human 1. So a Chinese AI company called ByteDance recently launching a paper called Omni Human 1 rethinking the scaling up of one state conditioned human animations model. So this is the architectures of the uh, human Omni Human 1 models. So if I go down, you can see here using this Omni Human 1, you can creating here some kind of realistic human videos at any spec ratio and body proportion, just like it can be portrait or the half body, full body all in one. You can create that. Also, you can creating here some kind of talking videos or the diversity of the animated characters as well as you can create in the half body cages with the hand with the hand movement you can create the videos with that so unlike the older ai we can just animate the faces so higher in the omni human one we can also do the realistic lip syncing so if i check out the paper of the omni human one so this is the paper uh, uh the same paper that you can see omni human one so you can see or you can also uh read this paper uh, you can go and check out the architecture and the working process or you can check out the uh, implementation details now what is actually omni human so omni human is an ai video generation tool that can turn a single image into a realistic video it can make a person move their hand and body uh, naturally by nature just like we do uh, talk with a perfect lip thinking as well as express the emotions and the facial expressions as well as perform actions like playing an instrument or dancing that's been using this omni human one with a single images we can also uh, making a person just like playing the instrument or playing the guitars or it can be the, even the dancings so unlike the older ai tools that only animate faces that you see in the uh, in the 2024 and 2023 so omni human one can generate the full body movement so it's not it's just not like the deep fake but in the deep fake we can just animate the faces but the omni human one is quite different so how does it actually work so omni human one uh, takes the two input one is called the a human images i mean a photo of a person it can be the me also or it can be the tony stag or it can be the uh, donald trump okay so the uh, second one is called the motion signal it's the most important one we can pass in the audio, we can pass here video or both audio and video. As well as we can pass in here the pose. Okay, I mean gesture of the hands. So then AI then created a realistic video of the person moving, talking, and interacting as if they are truly in a recorded clip. See, truly in a recorded clip. So it even support different video size and expect ratio. That means you can upload it to Instagram, you can upload it to the TikTok, even you can upload it to the Instagram uh, in, in, the, in the YouTube short as well. So meaning it can work for full body videos. If you try to uh, uh, creating here an Instagram short or the YouTube short, you can also take in the full body of the videos of the humans, or you can take in the half body videos or just the portraits of that. Let's just see how cool is it, right? So what are the key features of the Omni Human one? So Omni Human One has the four key features. First one is called the multimodality motion conditionings. So in the case of multimodality, it will combine the images and the motion signal. So image is nothing but the image of the person, and motion signal is nothing but the audio and the video, like audio and video to create the realistic videos. Okay, that's called the multimodality. That's been we passing here the images, audio, and the video. Then the second one, most important one is called realistic lip sync, which is really, really very tough in the case of deep learning, in the case of the AI. Okay. So Omni Human precisely match the leaf movement and the gesture to speech or musics, making the avatar feel like nature. Uh, if I see uh, the paper, uh, this one, uh, this one, I am unable to play this one. Why are you playing these songs? Just, uh, just because of some copyright issue in the YouTube, I am unable to play this one. But when you see this one, the lip syncing is just like the 90 to 90 up person. I mean, uh, 95 percent accurately, it will try to predict them. Okay, so it's really, really cool. You can check out the videos from here, then you can uh, understand what actually happening here in the case of 
yeah you can watching this video as well it's quite viral of the Albert Einstein's okay so you can do the realistic lip syncing the fourth one is called versatility across the format that's mean we can generate the videos in different aspect ratio for the Instagram for the TikTok, for any kind of social medias just like Facebook's the fourth one is called high quality output and the output quality is obviously high quality you can get in here the 4k quality as well so omni human generate the photorealistic video with accurate facial expression the most important accurate facial expressions then gestures and the synchronizations it's really it can even animate the cartoon if i see that i uh, can see it can even animate the cartoon it can also even animate this cartoon picture into the, some realistic lip syncing quite good right so making it suitable for creating application like animated movies are they interacting gaming so you can also watch some kind of animated movies okay as well as some uh, cartoon just like the more to but though like that so it will create this one with the lip sync correct lip syncing okay most important one now let's see what are the architectures and the working process of the omni human one so i just taking this picture from the paper so if i go on the paper uh this is the paper so in the paper, you can see that uh, it will uh, try to give it here some kind of thing just called video uh, generations, then the method, you can read it on from here. So I'm just taking this uh, from here. So uh, in the case of architecture, we see that we have two part in the framework of, uh, frame of the actually Omnihuman. The first one is called the Omnihuman model. Second one is called the Omni uh, condition training. So this Omnihuman model actually uh, uh, is which one is based on DIT architecture. So DIT is nothing but called that diffusion transformer. See, diffusion transformer. You have to transformer here. So the second one is called the omni condition trainings. So in this omni human model, the architectures and support the simultaneous condition with multiple modality, including text, images, audio, and the poses. And second one is called the training processes. So let's understand about the Omni human one models. So in the omni human model, this is the core model that generates the human videos. So it supports the multiple input modality, including the text, images, audios, and poses. So in here, they're actually using here two things. One is called the uh, transformer block, another one is called the frame level features. So if I see the transformer block, they just block process the input like text, images, noises, and poses to generate the frame level features. So in the frame level features, the features are used to create the realistic video frames with accurate synchronizations of the movement, gesture, and the expressions. That means in the case of Omni Human model, they are actually using here two things. One is called the transformer block, another one is called the frame level features. So in the case of Omni uh, condition training strategy, uh, it actually involving here some progressive the multi-stage training based on the motion related extent of the conditions. The first one is called the training is divided into states. If I see the architecture again, uh, it will divide it into some kind of status, stage number zero, stage number one, two, three, as well. That's mean it will divide it into some kind of status, just like for the texting to images or text to images plus audio, etc. So this appearances will allow the model to scale the effectively with the mixed data and overcome the challenges related to the data scalability. So let's see the uh, omni condition training strategy. So in here, it will broken down into some four steps. The first step is called the input modality. So you know that input modality is nothing but mean four things: text, image, audio, and the poses. So it is taking accepting here multiple types of input, just like the text is nothing but the a description of instruction for the desired output. Then it's nothing but an image and single image of person can be portrayed half body or the full body. And audio, it can be speech or the music, just like singing song for the Taylor Swift or the Sakira or other sound signal to drive the lip sync and the gestures. And the fourth one is called the poses. Okay. So motion signal with the videos and pose data for the guide the uh, body movements. So alongside some random noises. This is the first step for the training of the omni human one. Now second one is called the multimodality conditions. So in the multimodality conditions, so it will combine the input with the transformer based architectures. So in here uh, if the input is an image and audio, the model generates the lift movement and then just start synchronization with the audio. If it is an image and audio, to try to creating here some general lift movement. So if the generate input includes the poses data, the model use it to create the realistic body movement. 
That's when in the case of transformer, if the input is coming in the form of images and the audio, it will creating here the videos as well as the lip movement, right? Because audio is coming. Now, if the input is included in the post data, it will try to use it to create the realistic body movements. Now, the third one is called progressive the training strategy that we uh, see in the architecture. You can see in the architectures. So in the stage number zero, it will try to using his T to be text to video. Okay, text to video P training. So stage number zero, P training with text to video and the text input. Stage number one, training the with the text and Im input, uh, image input. If I see that, stage number one, it will be using the text and the images. Stage number two, it will be using the text, images, and the audio. Stage number three, it will try to doing here text, images, audio, and the poses. That's going to divide in this training strategy in some kind of some kind of stages. Okay, that you can see on here. The fourth thing is called the mixed conditional, the post training. If I see that it's this is this part, we can see that it having weak, strong, high, less. Okay. So after the initializing the training strategies, the model undergoes a mixed condition post training. So this involves the training with variation, variations of the ratio of motion related conditions, just like it can be strong. Or it can be the weak motions okay to enhance its versatility so what is the versatility if i see the output of the versatility uh that you can see that uh, uh i think it's a diversity sorry you can see diversity okay talking like that okay so uh the far uh, the final one is called the output generations so the final output is high quality video that matches the input conditions the, if the input is an audio and the in, in, uh, in audio and the images, the output of a video person is called image speaking or singing in the sync with the audio. Okay. So if the input includes the poses data, the output video mimics the specialized body movements. Okay. And this uh, this work is done by the transformer block that we only see all the here transformer based architectures. Okay. Now is the omni human one uh, similar to the defects? Because we are already creating some kind of videos about the defects. Is this uh, the uh, related to the or similar to the omni human ones? So yeah, the uh, approach is similar but having some different on that. So if I see in the technical approach, the omni human one uses a diffusion transform architectures. See, it uses a diffusion transform architectures and the omni condition training strategy. Two things it actually using here. But in the case of defect. They actually use generative adversarial network, generative adversarial network, or similar technique. It is called realism and the quality. If I see the realism, the quality. So in the case of training, they actually using here two things. In the case of Omni Human One, they actually using here the diffusion transformer architecture and the Omni Condition Training strategy. But in the case of defect, they actually using the GANs. Okay, if you want to know more about the GANs and how can you creating uh, some uh, uh, fake images using GAN, you can check out the videos um, in the descriptions. Okay, so in the case of realisms and the quality, Omni Human One generate high realistic full body animations with accurate lip sync and the gestures. See how cool. But in the case of deep sync, can be realistic but often have some inconsistent in the facial expressions at the moments. Yes, it may be happen in the case of facial expressions. Also, deepfake are usually used in the front mental activities. I have the Omni Human one is used for the goat. Obviously, Omni Human is obviously using for the in the way is a goat because it is using this one. You can create here some kind of animation video. So this is all about the uh, Omni Human one. You can go and check out the uh, paper uh, because uh, the Omni Human model is not a uh, free source right now. So we are not going to creating here anything else just for ensurity. Yes. Uh, some model is coming on here. Okay, so that's it for today. Now I hope you enjoy these full videos and subscribe my channels and share it with your friends. Thank you and bye bye.